<laughs> and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. My egg's done on the floor. <laughs> there you go. Fried egg. Sweet. We can also see about if we can make anything else. Uh, well, we can throw some more fuel into the fire. And everything else, though, we just have to go ahead and wait. Wow, it's kind of like very, very laggy now. I guess that's my fault. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's that's my fault because I'm, uh, I'm trying to <laughs> do processing and rendering while playing, I guess. Oh, jeez. That might be bad. Yeah. Oh, maybe. well. It'd be, be a little stag staggery, a little stuttery. Let's see now. Um, ooh, oh, yeah. There's one thing, though, we gotta do. A recipe for pie we could use. Oh, so now I can make berry pies and grape pies. Yay! Okay, so I had to go through that, and I guess it's just right, cl uh, right click and you can use them, or if you just uh, put them on your hotbar down here. Okay, but yes, uh, technology, and uh, I was thinking about it last night, and I forgot, I was like, yeah, I have to go over here, and I actually have to get the points for it, so... So, there you go, sawing. Now now we can do um, flitch as well as also wood uh, billets using a sawhorse that's unlocked. Um, let's see now. We can... Hmm. A piece of stone... Oh, stone repair kits. Yeah! I want to do that. That way then I can start repairing all my uh, all my church stuff. Yeah. Although, I wish I could... Uh, I'm going to need more to actually do uh, this woodworking over here. Carpentry's work, uh, workbench. But I can still do stone working because that's always helpful. There we go. So now that I've got some things unlocked, I can now go ahead and make a stone horse. Stone horse? Or saw horse. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the stone mill and the saw horse, and I'm just implementing them both together. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see now. Increase yard space. No, I need a saw horse, and I need more wooden sticks. About six to be precise. So, there you go. Just gotta start digging up all these little dead leaves and stuff, and I can actually start getting more sticks. I'm glad then that the, uh, the sawmill thing is just very limited in how much you need. Really? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's just like audio seemed a little loud to me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. But yeah. Just clearing out my, uh, clearing out my abode. We've also got, like, this lovely little, uh, stone thing right here. No, oh, that's a cat. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, now that I think I have enough, yeah, I can make now a sawhorse. So... I just gotta go ahead and figure out where exactly I would want to put it. I, I guess right here would do. So with that, then I now have a sawhorse. So with having a sawhorse, gotta go ahead and just repair it up. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. So now I can actually take the logs that I have that are over in my stone or in my uh, my wood pile, and I'd be able to turn them into wood billets or flitch. What's flitch? Um, flitch is. Honestly, I have no idea, so I'll go ahead and I'll make one of them. That way then we can see about what it's actually considered to use for. But it's it's honestly just like another part almost. It's almost like it's supposed to be for, uh, for, whatchamacallit, uh, like, uh, like a plank almost. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, it's like flitch, craft a sawhorse, circular saw, um, study's not complete, but doesn't really explain too much about what it's uh, what it is, but I know it is used for other processes. Say, for example, like a furnace, it requires flitch, so you need that, or like a trunk, you need flitch. But you have like wood planks, and those are evidently used for something completely different. Um, like the way that they actually look like the like the flitch, it actually doesn't look like they're straight lines on the side, but like they're curved in. So I, I think they're just like. A curved piece on a wood. On a wood. That's why they're also used for things like um, building a trunk because you have all those curved edge pieces and you just pile them all together and they like stack together because they're at 45 degree angle. So all you gotta do is just nail them in and you got yourself a perfectly good box or something. Yeah. 
So that, I think that's what just flitch is. Ooh, stone cutter. I would need more nails. How does one get more nails? Well, I was gonna ask you. Like, I'm also gonna need a lot of pieces of stone, and I've got simple iron parts. Um, hmm. You know, I think I should possibly go ahead and chop up more stone, so that way then I can make that furnace. So that. Because then I think I could use that to go ahead and get uh, get more metal parts instead of having to go ahead and just uh, buy stuff. There you go. So you just keep collecting more stone. There you go. A lot of stone. If I keep doing that, it should be a whole lot easier. There you go. I can't chop up that big piece. There you go. Yeah. How much stone is that already? A 12 pieces. Okay. So I just need like two more pieces. Yeah. Right there looks good. stone pieces that I needed. Awesome. And with that, yeah, I have enough now for a furnace. So, look at this big boy. Wow, it takes up uh, quite a lot of space. Oh, I can also rotate it. Not the rotation that I wanted, though. Like, I, I, was, I was thinking, like, it would rotate the other way. Other way around. Yeah. yeah. I can't even put it in there because it's too big. Uh, yeah, right there is fine. There you go. I'll have to go ahead and build it. Then once it's done building, I'm going to bed. There you go. Alright, so now I can put like uh, wooden sticks in there, or firewood if I have it, or even coal. And then I can also take uh, metal scraps or uh, iron ore and be able to place them in there so it could cook, so that way then I have iron, uh, iron ingots. For now, I go to sleep. I did some pretty good work on that day. Not a half bad day. Got some pretty good energy. There you go, lakey wakey. There you go, I'm so refreshed. Although I could have also taken the food that I have and be able to uh, just eat that to gain energy. Hmm. I will have to figure out what to do though with more of my food. But as far as things go right here, yeah, pretty good. All right, chop it down the tree. There you go. Just trying to make some more room. Oh, there you go. Dig out the stump as well. There you go. Cleaning out the space. Trying to get all this swamp land area fixed up because I'm trying to see about actually expanding the land too. We actually look at this, increase yard space, I'm gonna need nails as well as also complex iron hearts. I'd also need the stone cutter, so I'm gonna need more nails, I'm gonna need more flitch. So, with that I can actually, uh, I can actually go ahead and do more flitch, so, do that. There you go, with that I got enough flitch. Can I, how do I get that little piece of stone? I can get the stone over here, but... There you go. Oh, I need technology to cut down even haggard looking trees, but I can cut down the healthy ones, no problem. Weird. Either way, I'm also going to chop down this tree over here. Oh, give me that. There you go. Yeah. Always get 
rid of trees from major building areas. I also say that in real life as well. Way too many times you see all the trees that are like just nestled within the power lines. All it takes is a good windstorm and boom, there goes power. There you go. Oh, now I can actually go through here. Now that I've actually removed that. Cool. Alright, might as well go ahead and forge for more mushrooms too. There you go. Gotta still wait on the stuff over here. I can go ahead and chop this stuff up. There you go. Alright, let's also go ahead and see about more technology. Furnace, I've already got. I already got a timber stockpile. Don't need another trunk. Don't need a sawhorse. Uh, stone cutter. So, I would need more nails. Okay, so off we go to the blacksmith to just go pick up nails. Because, I mean, I could just go ahead and see him go pick up nails because I can't make them myself. Maybe while I go, I can also go ahead and see if the donkey's actually bringing another dead body. Alright. Oh, speak of the devil. Okay, might as well just stay in over here. Technology that I could actually grab for actual better, um, for better stuff. Oh! Wood anvil. Hi. I need that for forging of nails. Hey! It pays to actually go ahead and actually pay attention to this stuff and actually look at it. Yes. So now I can actually do forging of nails as well as also simple iron parts. Uh, book technology, theology. Oh! I can make a ceramic funeral urn. Oh, that's cool. But I need more of the blue stuff. Um, well, it's uh, it's like a different type of point. Blue points represent your spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. So, spiritual world. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Anatomy over here. I can also take care of bones and blood. I'm gonna extract, be able to extract blood and fat. Well, it's needed if you're gonna be an actual, uh, what, what is it called, a uh, mortician? Mortician or undertaker? Yeah, yeah. It's what you need to do so that way the body's perfectly preserved. That's true. Darn it. If I had one more point, I'd be able to ex uh, extract hearts and brains and intestines. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's getting a little gross, I know that. I'm sorry, I'm sure you wouldn't want that, but... Well, go ahead and yeah, do it. Yeah. Oh, perk a surgeon. The dead won't sue you, but still, you need to be careful. You have a reduced chance of making a surgical error when extracting important parts. Oh, okay. Interesting. Anatomy 2, preparation place, and a double pallet. Oh. And there's also gentle butcher. <laughs> you know how to work with meat. You have less chance of making surgical errors when extracting hard spares and soft spares. And soft spares are like the blood and fat. Hard spares are like bone, skull, and skin. Okay. That kind of stuff. That, that's what they were talking about. Interesting. Now maybe I can get one more green point somewhere, and then I go ahead and do, do the intestine thing. Oh, hello. Tiny little upstart tree. There we go, I got the point. That's all I really wanted. So now I can also be able to extract brain, heart, and intestines. Yeah, can't extract like bone or skull yet. I, I need I need more green and red for that. You can do that later. Yeah, once once I have enough of the points, I, I'm able to start unlocking them. That's what I've been doing. Also, while I wait for the donkey, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start removing all these stumps over here, making it cleaner because he's taking his sweet time to get here. There you go, finally. Lazy ass. Shame. What? He's a donkey. It's, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm trying here, okay? I know. I let that one go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Doing an autopsy? Yeah, just, just seeing what I can take out. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to try taking out blood. There you go. 
Uh, oh, now he has uh, he has all white skulls. I'm gonna also try taking out the fat. Maybe that'll do something. Oh, now he has four. Okay, so now now he has four white skulls. He only had like uh, two white and one red, but since I took out the blood and the fat, the body looks better. So now when I bury it, it's gonna look a lot nicer here in the uh, in the cemetery. That was the thing. Uh, make another grave site. Put you right there. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Oh, I need it at a five. Uh, how can I fix the graveyard? Just prepare all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Oh, oh. Current location name, and then also important location information, graveyard quality, the church appeal. Prepare graves to increase graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. Yep, okay. All right, let's get this body before it decays anymore. It's at, 90, it's at 97%. Oh, shoot. I'm all out of energy. Luckily, though, I got myself some pumpkin soup. All right, deep sleep. Energy regeneration during sleep is increased. Oh, courtesy of the pumpkin soup. Okay. There we go. Get you in there. And I'm gonna go put that dirt on you. There you go. At least the grave quality isn't down anymore. Yeah, certain uh, certain grave. If you have just like a whole grave, it gets negative bonus points depending on the certain types of bodies. Um, if they have a lot of those red skulls, they'll go ahead and uh, actually worsen your graveyard. So you want to try and get rid of all the red skull ones and have only uh, only good white ones. And then also with the technology too itself. Um, that I just got, like the hard spares and soft spares, since I'm extracting blood and fat, making the bodies look nicer and more preserved, you get more from them, or you get you make them at a better quality. So when they're in your graveyard, they're better there, and a higher quality. So now I know actually, if they have four white skulls, um, it'll uh, it won't reduce it won't reduce it anymore. So the four white skull for each body. It'll just make it at a balance of zero, so that's good. So then if I now start doing all the other stuff, like um, like building crosses for them and doing all the other things, it'll make it a lot better. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and be ending it right here. I'm going to be sleeping that day over there because now I have the pumpkin soup, so I'll sleep very soundly courtesy of pumpkin soup. And also, hey, how is that a hey? <laughs> that's actually good. That's sound sleep. I mean, in a, in a day in technology where you need sleeping pills, all you gotta do is take pumpkin soup here and you're gonna be sleeping harder than you had Ambien. Yeah, it would be nice <laughs> if that were true. Yeah. <laughs> then everyone would really be getting a lot more pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> yeah, they would. Yeah, tis the season. <laughs> Alright, well, hey, thanks so much for anyone watching Graveyard Keeper. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Have a good one and see you later.